Hi, this is Shadi. Today we're going to be talking about the Ippon. Now, an Ippon win is without a doubt a clean win. There should be no dispute, there should be no debate, and it should have very specific criteria. Now today a lot of things are getting granted an Ippon or a Wazari while being nowhere near that score. Now don't get me wrong, there is still a lot of great, powerful and decisive throws, but I'm just going to say that the standard of throwing has gone down and I will compare it with the 1970s, the Olympic Games, etc. Just to show you the decisions of the referees back then and how high the standard of throwing was back then. So let's just uh, talk about the standards of throw. So an Ippon should have power, speed and landing someone flat on their back. Uh, a Wazari should be missing one of the elements. So here you see a comparison between the two and you will see that Awazari is a bit slower but still getting someone flat on their back. Today, now it would get an Ippon but uh, Ayuko is no longer there so a lot of bad throws that would not qualify for anything are even getting a Wazari. Personally, I would bring back Yuko in the pin and in the throwing. So let's take a look at the 1970 throws. So here you see he goes for a Sasai. It is blocked. He blocks with his hand. He's on his knees and then he's turned over and followed to the ground with his hand. So today they would call it a Tewaza or uh, a throw because he is not in Newaza. And personally, I disagree. It's a rollover and it's great to get into the pen like here. This is a Tewaza. When you want to finish with your hands, it would still be decisive, fast, strong and laying someone flat on their back and it would do damage in real life. Here you see the Serenage that was stuck on one shoulder and then rolled over. He was not given a score and rightfully so. He was on one shoulder and then had to do a crocodile roll to finish it and it's not a throw. You want to roll them over to continue on the ground, please do so, but it's not uh, a score. So let's compare it to today actually in 2019, very recent. Here you see the same, goes down quickly, but he gets him on one shoulder and then drives with his feet and does a, a crocodile roll. and. It merited an Ippon, which is insane compared to the 1970s. So it's a great entry nonetheless. But here he's driving with his feet and then does a roll and he was given an Ippon. Absolutely not, in my opinion. So just to show you how the standards have gone down. Look at this foot sweep that you're going to see here and lands him on his side very quickly. He only got a coca. Now he continues the action on the ground and gets a strangle and an ippon. So let's take a look at the foot sweep again. So the French judoka uh, goes for Ko Uchigari and then Uemura, Olympic champion, sweeps his foot cleanly. He lands him on his side and then rolls him over on his back. Gets only a coca, just to show you how high the standard of throws was. And here, this very fast Ochigari lands him on his side, then quickly turns him over on his back. Merited only a Yuko. It was quick, it was powerful, but it did not land him on his back. Personally, I would give this a Wazari. But still, if you can see, look, on his side and then onto his back, only a Yuko, if you listen to the commentary. So today, look at this. It lands him on his side without force. I would say it's fast, but he lands him on his side and quickly, but it wasn't a powerful attack and yet it gets an Ippon. I would give this maximum a Yuko today if we were to judge by the three criterias. Now let's take a look at 
the finals here and Newaza a bit. It, if you see, it says the finals is 10 minutes. And I would say this is better than the golden score idea, and I'll tell you why. So here, Sato goes down uh, for, a, for an attack. It doesn't work. So he's given the chance to engage in Newaza. And look, he is just playing open guard. The other is trying to pass until the other stands up. So meaning he's disengaged from the ground. It was stopped so it's a good way of judging the ground uh, aspect so this is the semi-final uh, the same year it says eight minutes so regular fights were six minutes semi-final and I think bronze also should be eight and ten minutes the final and no golden score go to decision like in the past so here you see the ground aspect was uh, far more free but that being said um, a lot of the times it would not go anywhere. This fight was very long and they spent a lot of time on the ground, but it did not go anywhere. Uh, today, uh, in judo, if the action is continuous on the ground, they would let it roll. For example, Shori Hamada, she gets fights of minutes on the ground and uh, she they would not stop her because the action is continuous. While here, it gets blocked and we all know how bad it is from the back position. So let's talk a little bit about the decisions uh, rather than golden score. Golden score is very taxing on the athletes. And if you want peak performance throughout the competition, you would want to limit their time on the mats because A, for them to continue efficiently and two, for the spectators. Very long fights that lead nowhere, it's, it's not something that people want to see if you want to talk from the IJF perspective. And also, if we go to the referee decisions, if fights are six minutes, which is not very long, a lot of people get there very quickly, even from the first round, people will stop playing the tactical penalty game, meaning they would make someone look passive just to uh, you know, accumulate pa penalties, but they themselves do not attack. There's many of them. And after the World Championship, and after my last... A video on modern judo the IJF on their website said that we are conscious about this tactical shido game and we're working hard to stop it so I'm glad they at least listen and watch what people are saying so if you have the decision and it will go to the end and no one wins they will have to judge by your aggression your attitude how much you were offensive uh, rather than how much shido you are racking up to the others so it will kill the Shido game, in my opinion. And it will keep it a fighting sport, a fighting art, and it will keep it evolving. If the standards of throwing are like the 1970s, and I would say even the 1970s were very strict, some scores I would give them a Yuko and a Wazari rather than Koka and Yuko. And if the standards were high, like I said, People would want to train rigorously and have far better powerful throws because they don't want to leave a doubt in the referee's mind. So, and that, in return, will evolve the art and it will make it far more you know, offensive and really powerful rather than you know, putting people on the ground with your hands, like tucking them in bed or uh, someone is seated on their uh, butt. They are given a wazari. It's crazy. So... The standards of throwing should be very high, just like in the past. And I would bring back Yuko personally. And the pin should be 25 seconds, 15 seconds Yuko, 20 seconds Wazari, and 25 is Ippon. Uh, now a lot of athletes are actually training Jiu-Jitsu. I know here from the French team. So a lot of people are trying to fight the pin. In the past... They would deduct the time because the research would say that the last five seconds or so, no one is fighting. So we would just stop it. So if you have something to add, let me know down below. This was Shadi and thank you for listening.